All right, so let's start sketching on another concept here for the lacrosse sticks. I'm going to make a new layer, and that's where we're going to sketch on. We get colored. As you can see, the layer type automatically turns to gel. You want to turn that off to default immediately and start sketching. At this point, really what you're trying to do is be loose and you're trying to get some quick ideation on what your shapes are, are going to be doing. So you're not necessarily worrying about clean lines or anything like that. It's it's more you're you're worrying about what your forms are doing and you know, you can work this any number of ways um, where maybe you draw random shapes and then you, you know, you figure out what those shapes are doing or you, you figure out in your head what is my shape doing and then you start drawing it. You can approach it any number of ways and depending on, you know, what's working for you, you can switch up back and forth, you know. There's a lot of ways of doing it, but what's really helpful for me is to work in the most descriptive views as I can. So in this case, it, it tends to be the the side view. It, it's it defines a lot of the forms without actually, you know, like a lot of these shapes are are really defined already in this side view. And I can start confirming them in perspective, but um, you know, re really, you want to be as concentrated as you can in 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 the views that you you choose to pursue and follow. And I'm not entirely certain what some of these shapes are doing, and maybe I'll I'll figure it out as I'm going along and correcting these lines and cleaning them up this point I'm, I'm actually just trying to create some kind of dynamic tension trying to find some some shapes that that make sense not and I'm really not sure what what these are going to be doing I'll probably clean it up in a layer or two I know I want some of them to flow. I want, I want some sharp creases in here somewhere, and and I'm just testing things out right now. You know, there's nothing that I'm I'm like really set on. There's nothing that I've like, you know, settled on that says, man, that is, that is the shape that I'm going for here. I probably will settle in just a little bit simply because I want to get some concepts down but usually it takes me a little while to massage these shapes to actually figure out well, what is going on and what is making me feel really good about these shapes. Another thing I'm also starting to learn is or starting more to realize that you have to be like real ruthless with yourself and with your designs because sometimes sometimes your shapes do not translate well to to your customers you know sometimes there'll be a shape you really like and you think is the most awesome shape in the world and you take it out to focus groups or you test it internally and it's like well yeah whatever I, I, I'm not so sure about that can we try X, Y, Z? And you're like, oh, crud, <laughs> you know? So you have to be, you know, real ruthless with yourself and, and, and quickly, quickly learn to, you know, change directions, change tack based on, you know, feedback from customers, managers, colleagues.
you stand your ground, of course. I mean, if there is something you really believe in, you you try and um, go through with it. But um, also learn to be, I don't know, humble, kind of. You don't want to be walked all over, I guess. And you do, you do want to have something to offer the design team, so you can't just, you know, say, okay, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you say. There's something starting to form there. I'm not entirely certain what it is. Some kind of shape here could be like, yeah, something that we build off of. I'm kind of liking what's starting to to build up in this region here, and maybe we can start flowing these shapes just a wee tad. Let's just drop that down. Transparency, a whole lot. All right, let's see. Seems like let's start a new layer, and I'll, I'll maybe do a pen pen tool here. Let's see. S seems like there might be an interesting shape there. be something here as well and we could bring that line up here it could be some kind of diving crease line happening and then there's a an overlapping surface running through here which tucks in there provides an aggressive shoulder there and it's really interesting too is like something that seems really complicated in um, in your sketch when you actually you know maybe put it in 3d and you see it without all the construction lines looks like real boring so you you really have to be cognizant of what your shapes are doing in addition to the lines that define it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm starting to like I'm starting to like some of this. And of course, you'll notice that this is maybe a little bit different in character to the sketch that we had previously done. It's a little bit more. Refined in its... Well, maybe not refined, but it's... It's, it's cleaner, definitely. You can see I'm trying out some maybe alternative strategies here. <laughs> 